Hey guys, Jeremy with Science by Van. I wanted to give you guys a pretty cool tip on how we get our letters to look the way that they do. So we get a lot of questions on YouTube uh, from folks going, you know, what kind of paint do you guys use for your backgrounds? Uh, again, 99% uh, of the time we use a Bear Ultra Premium from Home Depot just because we can match PMS colors. It's inexpensive to use. It coats really well for spray, roller, or paint. And also this paint right here that we're using for the letters in the border, which I'm gonna be talking about today, is Painter's Enamel One Shot. And today we're gonna be painting white letters on a black background. Uh, for the Hollister Airport. So here's the most important thing that I wanna convey to people about when we paint our letters. Um, folks, you know, you go in there and you take, you get your paint and you come in here and you're like brushing it on, right? And the problem with that is, is if you could see, um, we're, we're, we're coating it and you're getting paint on there and I'm brushing it and brushing it and brushing it. But what you're doing is you're getting a lot of brush strokes in the actual white letter, as opposed to dipping your brush and having, a, I don't know another better word, but a copious amount of paint on the brush. And this is the difference. We're dabbing it on there. And um, I, I'm gonna get made fun of for not knowing the exact term, but have you ever filled a dog bo uh, bowl full of water and it goes all the way up to the very top and doesn't spill over the edge? Um, that, that is exactly what we're doing with paint. As you can see, I'm not brushing at all, or if I am, it's very little. Um, what I am doing is I'm depositing this paint on the letter and it, it, it will not go over the, uh, the edge and it's actually building up almost like a bubble effect. And um, if you get the consistency of the one shot, if you could throw in a little bit of hardener and kind of water it down just a hair, don't use paint thinner. The one shot's got a really good consistency as is. But what you're gonna see is that you're actually getting somewhat of a bubble effect and it, it, it really makes that letter pop. And it takes you a little bit of time to get used to um, not, you know, the, the technique of not going over the edge because the first couple times you do this, it certainly might do that, um, but you can always come back with your one shot black and touch it back up. But if you look at that letter, it's glossy. And if you give it just a little bit of time, that's actually gonna float out and it's gonna even out and it's gonna fill up all the edges perfectly. Um, and that's how we paint all of our letters. So if you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach us uh, at 831-663-2663, or, or you guys can hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, whatever uh, source that we have that you guys follow, um, and shoot us all your questions, and we'll give you guys answers. Thanks for watching.